Hi, I'm Mishdi Max, and I'm here to share this Halloween lip art, displaying the quintessential Halloween decoration, a jack-o'-lantern. I created this pumpkin with neon shades, and as an extra spooky element, it glows in the dark and eerily floats in the looming blackness. Before I started, I prepared my lips by moisturizing and priming, and as I'm in the mood for some eye candy this Halloween, I'm wearing my new Princess Pinky Twilight Reborn contacts in red. I have a discount code for contact lenses from Pinky Paradise in the description box, with all the links and details. It's not an affiliate link, but it makes me look spiffy if you use it. I began by sketching out the shape of the pumpkin's body on my top lip with a white pencil, curving it at my cupid's bow and swooping it down to meet my bottom lip, then scooping out the butt of the pumpkin along my lower lip's perimeter. I plotted out the triangular eye holes placed either side of the upper space and added some jagged angular cuts in the middle of the bottom lip for the mangled menacing teeth, leaving an open space for an animalistic open maw. Next, I pulled out the Cryolan UV Aqua Paints and chose the UV Yellow shade and mixed it with some MAC Fix Plus spray and an eyeliner brush until it was a gory, gruesome consistency on the back of my hand. Then I slashed it over the triangular holes, carefully making the edges of the cuts honed to a sharp edge and poured the bright yellow horror into its eyes. I moved down to the teeth and hacked out the demented shape with short stabbing strokes to finally fill it in so it looks like an unholy and unnatural glow is emanating from the carved shapes as if powered by a sinister source. I added a few layers of this blood curdling paint to make sure it covered the spaces well and glowed harshly in the inky darkness letting the ooze dry between the layers of the water-activated paint. And for the next thrill, I spilled some more MAC Fix Plus into some of the Cryolan UV Red Aquacolor paint and scraped at it with an angled brush to squelch out the sanguinous-like but overly neon hue until I have the right consistency to wreak some mayhem and fill in the outer bulk of the pumpkin skin. I meticulously grated it around the sketched outer perimeter and carefully sliced it around the hollow sunken eye holes, slathering it down to the center of the lips. I skirted it across the bottom section and filled in the rest of the half circle, pedantically flitting around the lacerations of the mouth shape, using the pointed tip of the angled brush to keep everything razor-edged sharp. I gave both the neon shades an extra layer or two so it will glow far into the murky sullenness of the dark and then moved on to the rest of the steps. I have the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner in Obsidian and I'm using that to line the outer corners of my mouth and finishing off the lip shape all the way up to the edges of the pumpkin with a base of darkest black. Next, I decided to add a little more detail with the white pencil and plopped on a representation of the chunky stalk on top of the pumpkin's head, which I colored in UV green with the Cryolan paint on the eyeliner brush. I didn't add as many layers, so this section of the design doesn't glow as awesomely as the rest of the pumpkin, but it still gives the impression of the stalky bit. And lastly, I covered the black area with some black lipstick called Zero from Sugar Pill, getting right into those corners. I pulled out another angled brush to neaten up the edges with black lipstick and hug the pumpkin's body to finalize the overall wacky pattern. So now I can admire this sinister pumpkin carving on my lips and play around with a UV light to see it seriously glow with the black light luminosity in a spooky and bloodthirsty fashion. Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed this spine chilling Halloween tutorial and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Also check out my band and podcast on iTunes. And if you want to send me a letter or a trick or treat, I have my PO box in the description box. Shh.